Metal polishing is a lot of hard work, but it's an extremely important gunsmithing process. Let me show you how we do this. I'm going to polish all of the metal to an even 320 grit. This will give the best finish for a traditional rust blue, like on this Griffin House Sporter made in the 1930s. It's a satin finish as compared to the extremely high gloss hot tank blue on this Weatherby. You can see there's a bit of solder to clean up as well as a few marks left from the machining process. I'll use an assortment of abrasives, files and sanding blocks, and most importantly, a large amount of elbow grease. The best way to polish is by hand. This eliminates dish screw holes and poorly defined lines that can result from using a buffing wheel or rotary tool. A firm backer is critical to ensure even polishing of flat surfaces and prevent rounding of edges. I've removed the barrel from the action, having made witness marks to align the barrel properly when it's reassembled. With the barrel secured in the vise, I'll use a needle file and a sharp chisel to remove the excess solder. Since this barrel was already polished, I'll start with 220 grit abrasive paper. A shoe shine motion allows me to polish most of the barrel. For the areas that can't be reached, I'll use a rubber block that matches the barrel's contour. I'll continue along the entire length. Polishing in a different direction is referred to as cross polishing and helps to show any areas that need additional work. To polish the sights and barrel band, I'm using thin strips of abrasive that I've glued to craft sticks. I can easily trim them to get into any hard to reach areas and they ensure that I keep all edges sharp and well defined. After polishing the barrel completely with 220 grit abrasive, I'll switch to 320 and remove all of the marks left by the previous grit. The last pass should be lengthwise along the barrel. A generous coat of oil after polishing will prevent rust. The next step is the receiver. I'll use bluing remover to get down to bare metal. Since this is in pretty good shape, I'll start by polishing the flat areas with 320 grit. The formed rubber backer makes polishing the rest of the receiver fairly easy. Be sure not to polish the face of the receiver. Previously, we trued this surface in the lathe. With 320 grit paper, I can polish over the letters and numbers without damage. A mandrel like this is just the ticket for holding the receiver while polishing. The same process is repeated with all the remaining parts. When polishing the recoil lug, be very careful. Removing any material from this area can affect headspace and accuracy. I'll only need to polish with 320 grit, using a backer to prevent rounding the edges. A final coat of oil will prevent rusting.